India had kept the five match T20I series alive by winning the third T20 international. So now both the teams had traveled to the United States to play the fourth and the fifth T20 international. And West Indies once again won the toss, and this time they decided to have a bat first. So West Indies started once again with Brandon King and Kyle Mayers, but they lost both their openers in the power play as West Indies scored 55 runs at the end of the first six overs, losing just two wickets. And after that, it was Shai Hope who reconstructed the West Indies innings and he scored a fantastic knock of 89 ball, 45 ball runs. Nicholas Puran, the man in form, could not contribute much as Kuldeep Yadav took his wicket pitch. And West Indies skipper Robman Powell, he also did not last long as West Indies lost crucial wickets in the middle phase, courtesy of some brilliant spin bowling by the Indian spinners. Aksar Patel and Kuldeep Yadav, they bowled really well in tandem along with Hugh Spinger Chetel. And then in the later half, it was Shimran Hitmayer who scored a fantastic, brutal knock of 61 runs of just 39 deliveries that powered West Indies to 178 for 8 at the end of 20 overs. Arjdeep Singh was the pick of the bowlers picking up 3 wickets and then Kuldeep Yadav picked up 2 wickets and Aksar and Yusvain Rajahil picking up 1 wicket apiece along with Mukesh Kumar who also picked up 1 wicket. So chasing 179 for victory to keep the series alive, India started with their openers Shubman Gill and Yashasvi Jaiswal. Remember this was Jaiswal's just second T20 international and the openers looked really good against the windy space holders. These two started putting on their shots all around the ground and the openers scored 66 runs in the power play and that really kept them in the branches. And after the power play, Jaxwal and Shubman Hill, they started scoring heavily and started gaining boundaries as these two openers raced off to 100 run partnership in no time. And as a result, the openers stitched a mammoth opening partnership of 165 runs equaling the joint highest opening partnership by India in T20 International and that was way back in 2017 between Rohit Sharma and Kale Rahul also scoring 165 runs for India against Sri Lanka. But then as India were inching closer to victory, Shubman did perish but after scoring a brilliant knock of 77 or 47 deliveries but Jaiswal and Tilak Verma ensured that there were no more hiccups as India crossed over the finish line with 18 balls to spare. And so with this, India have won the 4th T20 International by 9 wickets and squaring the series to all with all to play for in the 5th and the final T20I. And so Yashasvi Jaiswal, he was awarded the player of the match in the 4th T20 International for scoring 84 runs of just 50 odd deliveries with 11 fours and 3 sixes and a strike rate of 165 was phenomenal. And so with the series squared to all, it is now all to play for in the final T20I to be played at the same place in Lauderdale, Florida. So we'll have to find out whether India comes back and scores a hat-trick of wins to seal the series or will Windies come back in the 5th ODI to take the series 3-2. So I'll be back with all the updates of the 5th ODI. So stay tuned to my channel guys and do not forget to subscribe if you are into this for the very first time. Goodbye for now.